With something like this, which is like a repeated shape, it's like sh uh, it's a shape that I've worked on and refined and changed a lot, and and it continues to change as um, my my visual library expands. The aesthetics that I'm interested in, or or think are right or wrong, change. Um, I'm going for for a practice shape. Like this is a specific shape that I think is comfortable and visually appealing. Um, but it, that varies from pot to pot. Um, and often things, things will appear as, as you go, like as you're making the shape changes and something will pop and you'll be like, oh, that's interesting and I'll, I'll follow that path. I'll, I'll try and replicate that or enhance the things that I like about that. But with this particular cup, I've got, I've, when I make something, I'm, I'm thinking all the way through. So I, I'm thinking about how I'm going to turn it, how I'm going to decorate it, what I'm going to glaze it with. And that will, that will dictate what I'm doing. And these cups, or this shape in particular, is, is one that I use for my brushwork decoration and hakame slip which is the style of one of the styles of cups that I've made for you um, so I want quite a quite a wide um, and broad surface for the decoration for the brushwork so they're quite square they're they're nearly sort of 10 by 10 in shape and that that gives a nice platform to start layering the different slips and creating depth and, and hopefully an interesting an interesting object. I guess it comes from my my introduction to the Minge philosophy and, and the work of Warren Mackenzie and John Reeve and, and the, the idea that the beauty comes from the function of the object um, and that's, that's what builds the relationship with the thing and helps you sort of develop this understanding of its, its beauty and um, its inadequ inadequacies um, and like all the different little things that come from from a pot, even pots, handmade pots, even when they're the same, like the leech standard wear, each pot is going to be individual depending on who made it. Um, because of their hand size, the handle that's been pulled will be slightly different to someone else's. Um, and all these things are things that people learn through use. Um, so for me, that's a really big, important part of, of what the work's about. Um, so it comes from there, really. And then it also, you know, through that use, it helps you get an understanding of, of an individual's taste and, and personality through the things they pick. You know, um, some people will go for quite, quite plain, um, simple pots. Some people go for quite extravagant, decorated, funny shapes, different handles, different sizes. Um, you know, it's, it's an interesting, an interesting process, you know, I imagine it's something people could study psychologically, but for me it's more just out of interest and also just to inform my work, you know, to see what people go for, what, what do people like, what do different people like, what do the people I like like, you know, it's, 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 it's interesting and it, it like builds layers um, and helps inform your practice and your aesthetic and I think that like it's really important to just to never stop learning in a craft um, because I think you can sort of stagnate people like if you 
decide, oh, I've done it, this is, these are the pots I make, and I've gone as far as I can, uh, I'll stop here, and that, I think that's really not a good thing for, for work in practice. I think if you continue to learn for, throughout your whole career and, and make work that interests you in a, in a genuine way, um, you can keep going forever and still make interesting work, hopefully. You know, I guess physically there might be deterioration in your body that sort of restricts the type of work you can make. But, um, I mean, Warren McKenzie was still making pots on a kick wheel like this at the age of 94, so hopefully I can do the same. People are meant to make things and design things and create as, as a species, you know, that's what humans do. So I think, you know, if you're going to be happy, you need to be creating something really or, you know, or find some, something creative in some way, like everything can be creative. So I think it's why I've, you know, I've always done well with it. any job I've ever done, I've just sort of worked as hard as I can at it and tried to learn as much about it and that's helped me do really well and it's also helped me enjoy that job more no matter how mundane it is.